true. You're not retiring. I mean, you can't because you, you can't retire. Because this is step one in the grieving process. <laughs> Denial. Retire. Denial. Damn you, Charles! Damn you to hell! I hate you. I hate you! You are dead to me. That's not denial. No, step two, that's anger. Okay. Okay, we're all adults here. We can work this out. I can hire you full time, right? Put you on the payroll. Uh, this is step three, it's bargaining. It, it usually doesn't go around this quickly. Why I mean, is it always me? Everybody's always a human. The person can go on. It's just too much. Okay. You're right. It's not the end of the world. I'm just gonna have to play with the doctor. I love you so much. Thanks to you. I think I can't get past this. Thanks, Doc. And finally accept it. Well, that's all right. He can't retire. The man can't quit. Because he's not a quitter. So what's going on? I don't know. I don't know. It's like you start him all over again like he's in a loop. Guys, the package is here. The one that I was talking about. It's here. Why is this thing so annoying? Might be it. <coughs> might, she might have given the ashes back. Really? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Or was it enough? Oh. oh, that might be the ashes. Yeah. Your special piece is made of high quality metal that is hypoallergenic. Oh, she wrote a note. I hope you love the special ring. Your mom. Oh. Aww. It's really nice. I was expecting like a huge box or something. Yeah. This is cute. Oh. Does it fit? Does it fit? Does it fit? Does it fit? I just played with Max and Nala running up and down the stairs. I'm so tired. Okay. Um, I just got back from class and I had to pick up Angel's medication when I was coming back home after class. So it turns out that Angel also has um, high blood pressure. So she's gonna be on medication. I just, I feel like a lot of things are just going on top of each other. A condition after another condition and it's just you know first the kidney and then now her thyroid and then she also has hypertension so I mean that's just what happens when you know we get older right we start to get hot we start to, what <laughs> we start to have problems as we get older that's what I was trying to say uh, she's gonna be on the medication and then I have to recheck her labs and everything next month I mean, but overall, they still say she's like really good and for her age, she's still good. So it's just things that we need to manage and, you know, have under control of. But yeah, so there's that. Also, per my last vlog where I talked about me not having a 77%, not passing the class. So I'm passing the class. <laughs> I have an 85%. So I am set. The class is going to be done after next week and that will be it. I am all set. Thank God, really. I was so scared, but God was like, no, don't worry. I am not doing well on the quizzes, but turns out because they haven't added the like assignments that we do at home. So that's why it was uh, like a 72%. But now, since they added everything in, I have an 85. So, woohoo! I'm good. So I'm gonna do some work. I'm going to get all my assignments done for this week. I want to finish it today. Yeah, today is Yoon's birthday, so we are gonna go to his birthday dinner thing tonight. And then, that's all I have planned today. Just do some work and stuff. The Hesse is next, next Friday. And I'm a little nervous about it, but at least this time it's not required to pass to graduate. So again, I'm thankful for that. I'm just gonna try my best on it and yeah. 
that is it. I am gonna do some work now. car right now I'm picking up some pho for dinner tonight today was a good day we just basically so praise team practice in the morning after it's like a few of us were studying in a cafe for a bit studying I I was trying to finish my assignments I was trying to finish my assignments that are due tomorrow but I ended up not finishing at all so i am gonna try to finish some more later tonight after i eat i'll probably work on it tomorrow too i didn't do as much as i should have but that's okay the reason why i didn't finish all of it was because the weather today was very gloomy and i just felt really tired so i ended up not doing it all and then also i just gave up and wanted to plan for our New York trip. <laughs> so it turns out we're going to New York again next month in March. I'm very excited. I'm so happy I'm gonna go. I wasn't planning on going at first. I was like, no, I can't because I have to finish up my preceptorship that week and I couldn't go. So I was like, I can't. But then they have done some convincing to me. And so I decided that I should go. I moved to some of my days to this week. I will have preceptorship Saturday and Sunday. That was the only way I could do it so I could go to New York. So that's what happened. And you know what? I don't regret switching. I am very excited and I can't wait to go. Okay, so I think my food is ready. So I'm going to go pick it up. Yay, got my food. Now I'm getting hungry because it smells so good. So now I want to go home and eat. But yes, I am going to New York. So get ready for another New York vlog. And this time I am planning. That's okay, I'm gonna go to. Thank you, sorry. Okay, perfect. Yes, I am going to try to do the vlog in New York. And this time I am gonna make sure that I vlog a lot this time because I kind of sort of regret a little bit that was a lot of words. I regret a little that I didn't vlog as much and there was not much to edit. So that bit, that vlog that I did was only like five minutes. So I kind of regret it a bit. But this time, I'm gonna try to do more. So I'm very excited, I'm really excited. I really wanna break. I feel like my mental and everything is just jumbled up and I want to just go away and have fun for a bit, you know? Oh, but I do feel really bad for Max and Nala today because I didn't really spend much time with them. I was out the whole day. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna eat 
play with them and then I'll finish up my work. That's the plan. tired I look right now my lips are so pale and like oh my gosh I just got home and I'm just so exhausted but uh, just in my head I just thought about how I feel like I should update you guys so I have a phone interview with one hospital on Monday and then I have another interview with a different hospital on Thursday the following week so not this coming week but next week so I have two interviews so far, except the first one, I know it's with a recruiter and I've worked with the recruiter before. Like if you guys remember when I worked with one, when I got this job. So they helped me get interviews with um, the managers or supervisors or whatever. They just helped arrange the interviews for me. But yeah, so I've been trying to do that been still looking to see if I should apply to other places as well but there's just not many places to apply for as a new grad so I've just been applying to the hospitals that are like close by it's just been really hard to figure out what unit I want to work in and and if it is even right for me to work in it I don't know because like I thought that I wanted to do peds like pediatrics but now I'm thinking like do I like the surgical unit? Do I like working with post-op patients? Or do I want to work in a completely different like unit? Do I want to work in the ICU? Like, do I, I don't know. Like I'm just been like, I thought I knew what I wanted, but now so many, there's so many options and so many decisions that I need to make. And I just, I'm just not sure as to what to do. But yeah, so that's, that's what's been happening. And I'm so sad today. I like, I was kind of very down today. Like the weather is like pretty gloomy and I'm just like so tired. But then also I felt sad because I didn't spend much time with my parents when they were up here. They left today and I didn't get to see them much. They came on Sunday night. I spent a little bit of time with them at the, during the night of Sunday. But Monday I had to be at the hospital all day and my parents had their doctor appointments and like other appointments that they had set up and then I didn't come home till like 11 30 because I had an 11 to 11 30 shift and then today I worked from 8 a.m to now and my parents left while I was at work so I didn't really spend much time with them and I felt really really bad and I wanted to call off work but I couldn't switch with anybody so it just didn't work out but this whole day has just been very all over the place okay but I'm home um I gotta eat dinner because I'm getting a little hungry and I need water because I am I feel like I'm dehydrated 